know, addiction is a, a really big problem in society today. Um, lots of people may, are social smokers, social drinkers, um, but there are many who progress to addictions who can't stop the habit. Some people become drug addicts when they take drugs um, and others don't. Our approach is that in humans, certain behaviours predict your likelihood of becoming an addict or relapsing, going back to drug taking. And one of these is called impulsivity. We use tests of behaviour in an animal that we can then look at their genetic code and see how differences in the genetic code are linked to the types of behaviour and then relate that behaviour to similar behaviour in humans. The animal that we use is um, a small fish. It's called the zebrafish. We use zebrafish because just like us, they're vertebrates. Also, their genetic code is very similar to ours. Variations in their genetic code are likely to be similar to variations in our genetic code that influence the ways our brains are put together and the ways we behave. What we do is we get families of fish that have differences in their genetic makeup. We test all these families of fish for their impulsive behaviour. We train the fish to approach one of five chambers when a light comes on, and if he sticks his nose into the right chamber, he can go back to the other end of the tank and get food reward. You can test for impulsive behaviour by increasing the time of delay between the start of your test and the turning on of the light. Uh, fish that will not wait, that make a premature response, they go, oh, I can't wait, and they'll swim into one of the chambers before the, the light has come on, are too are impulsive. So we test all these different individuals from lots of different families of fish for who can't wait when we increase the delay. Fish that are impulsive can't wait and fish that aren't impulsive always get it right. Any fish that show premature responses 40% of the time, they're very impulsive and we would argue that those fish are likely to carry genetic variations that makes them more likely to become an addict if they were exposed to drugs. Once we've found our impulsive genes um, from fish, then we look through the human data to see whether it um, affects the similar variation affects human behaviour. The research that Caroline's done uh, in the fish model about impulsivity I, I think can probably be directly translated into um, uh, a way of identifying genes which are important in humans um, for uh, predicting uh, whether people will have certain risk behaviours um, and, and one of these risk behaviours is, is smoking. The ultimate result, of course, would be being able to put people into certain categories according to their genetic makeup and say, you would do best with this treatment, you would do best with this treatment, you would do best with this treatment. So eventually we hope that by using this kind of uh, personalised medicine, tailored therapy, is another way of putting it, we could actually improve the overall effectiveness effectiveness of treatment for smoking cessation. Now once we've found genes that predict drug seeking and addictions, those things are targets for treatments. And for at least one of the genes that we've found so far, um, it does. Mm -hmm.